folks, it's John Pettypaw doing an impromptu video. Something just come to my attention, and I was going to do one in politics, but it's a higher calling what I'm doing right now, truly. It's five minutes past six o'clock in the afternoon, or early evening, on Wednesday, the 25th day of August. Time's flying. Now, Mother Teresa, the saintly Mother Teresa, the Albanian nun that was born in the small country of Albania, you got Romania... You get the nation of Italy, crossed the Adriatic Sea. You get uh, Bulgaria, Yugoslavia, uh, Romania, and Albania. And had lived in Boston, the beautiful, beloved state of Massachusetts, the spirit of America. And right across the street on Hewlett Street in Roswell, Massachusetts, was an older couple, and they lived, it was a it's a duplex, so two families could live in it. And she takes, and they were from Albania, and I say, put out the garbage in the morning and say, Viva Albania! They didn't, still didn't have good English. Her kids were probably gone to college or working in lots of jobs and technology around Boston, construction, what have you. And they go back, yeah, Viva! Viva Albania! And they'd been in the United States for many years, and uh, they just loved it. They appreciate it. That being United States was one step away from being heaven. So live just across the street from Manhattan. Now, tomorrow morning, the 26th of August, is the 111th anniversary of Mother Teresa. We say, happy 111th birthday to Mother Teresa. And up there in heaven, what God and the saints and angels say a prayer for all of us. She is now known as Saint Mother Teresa. And she died... On the 5th of September, went to heaven on the 5th of September of 1997. I distinctly remember that. It was uh, the same, the priest we had in Mulgrave was an excellent priest. of many, many good priests in Mulgrave. They've been blessed with several good priests, a number of them. And this was Father um, Hugh McNeil. And they prayed for saintly Mother, then Mother Teresa, for or Sisters of Charity, Order of... Mother Teresa of uh, Calcutta, India, and in other parts of the world as well. But famous for work in Calcutta, India. And uh, Lady Di had died. I remember saying to the MLA, Honorable Bill Gillis, true royalty, true royalty was Mother Teresa. And her principles of lady, she's, she was just a very solid, I know somebody that actually worked with her briefly uh, for a uh, season or so in Calcutta. And she taught, let me get some white t-shirts here, hold on a second. She, here I'm back. She take the, she teach them this white safari that women wear, and she teach them to get by with two sets of clothes. One that they could wash, and the other one they'd wear. Two sets of clothes, a very, and that's how she lived her life, very humble and modest. So they take and the, one time a, a businessman, and I don't think he was necessarily Christian or Catholic. He might have been a Hindu or a Muslim for that matter. But a businessman, probably not many Muslims in Calcutta, but say he was a Hindu. Probably not. But he gave her a big white Lincoln Town car back at no in, in the late 70s, in the 70s. And uh, she took that town and didn't say, well, it's ostentatious. She proudly tanked him profusely for the car took the car and sold tickets. And the tickets, I think, were maybe 50 cents each, 25 or 50 cents each. And she raised about, oh, quarter million dollars from selling, auctioning off that, that uh, not auctioning, but from selling, raffling, raffling off that, that car. So she was a very pragmatic lady. And the lady, she played cards. She she wasn't afraid to take a chance. We got to take a chance in life. The famous song, Abba, take a chance on me. She played cards. I know she played poker, but this girl that worked with her didn't become a Catholic nun, but worked with her. And she actually played. She was a very practical lady. And she takes and uh, she she's not above being criticized. The media would criticize her. She she dealt. Her whole order was. Dealing with the poorest of the poor. She take people that were dying on the street, that next morning their their hurts to say this, their bodies would be like garbage for the refuge to take up. She brought them in, gave them some soup or consomme or soft food they could eat, uh, be it rice or gruel or something they could eat, 
uh, pudding or a uh, cup of tea, milk, whatever, something they could nourish, and she gave them dignity and love at the final moments of her life. And she did what she did it with children. The boat extremes, the the dying on the streets of Calcutta and children. And President Trump got slime bags, slime bag liberal fake news it criticizes. It's estimated under President Trump that there's at least 600,000, there's almost, that's over half a million. So that's that's two thirds of the population of Nova Scotia where I'm speaking from. We're up to about 980 some thousand, we're close to a million now. It's the highest population we've ever had, but it'd still be approximately two thirds, two of every three people in Nova Scotia, he spared from abortionists. That there's 600,000 babies, precious, precious children alive in the United States, the only president that ever went to the March for Life in Washington, D.C. Jimmy Carter didn't do it, born again Christian. George Bush didn't do it. Uh, what's his face? Uh, Sleepy Joe doesn't do it. At least 600,000 American babies and more across the world because he cut back on organizations providing the sin of abortion. Mother Teresa loved seeing the value of life, Christ and all people, if they were sick, wrinkled, old, whatever, on the streets of Calcutta, and they were very young. And Anne Hattie was like that. I'm not putting Anne Hattie in Mother Teresa's league, but there are similarities. She never played this game that her grandson left his wife, and well, well, she's a little tramp, blah, 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 and I don't want to see those grandkids, or great grandkids, actually. She none of, she brought that lady up to Nova Scotia with the kid, where they were literally her great grandkids, who are now men, young man and young woman. And uh, they take, she, she just, she she accepted people as they were, and she never played favorites. That once there was a divorce or separation, that they were a little lesser. She, in the same with Mother Teresa, it's kind of ironic. I'm saying this. I went over to get my tie and the uh, and white shirted office, and that's ironic that Albanian people live just across the street on Hewlett Avenue in Massachusetts. So, Mother Teresa, tomorrow morning, in less, I'm going to have to wrap this up, it's, I'm almost at the eight minute mark now, but the saintly Mother Teresa, and say, well, we're not all saints. And the reading recently in the Daily TV Mass, or in church was, you feed the hungry, you clothe the naked, you give water to those nurses, and when did we see your Lord? And said, when you... When did we clothe the naked? When did we feed the hungry? When did we give water to the thirsty or nourishment? And you said, you did it to the least, you did it to, to me. And that's the one other point, Mother Teresa, I want to wrap up. She's been criticized. They said, well, her sanitary conditions maybe weren't perfect. When you bring dozens of babies in or hundreds of people in a, in a clinic-type environment, I know I speak in lady the other day, her, her saintly grandmother had 23 children. And I'm certain if you went to the house in Springfield, there might have been milk from the cow in the morning when she was breastfeeding the little baby and had other little babies. She had 23 kids. So at one point in her life, that lady would have had probably 15, 18 kids to reside in her home. Okay. <laughs> and so the, the nerve of somebody to, to criticize Mother Teresa. And so to this day, it'll go on for years to come till God comes again. The work of that saintly nun, small in size but powerful, small but powerful she was, uh, from Albania that devoted her life serving the poorest of the poor in Calcutta, India. And there's other countries in the world. I'm not fully up to date on all the countries, but there's other countries in the world they do. But that, that was, and there's one other thing. She went to, she went to India, went to India. And if we don't, if we don't get away from this dumb idea of where well, that one's a foreigner or that one's from Syria or they're a Muslim or that one's from a Hindu when they have a temple or this one guy's name is a Greek name or we'll go with the guy that's uh, that's guy that's uh, that's um, Scottish name, Ian Rankin. Some is related. He was a good guy, but 
Uh, I didn't vote for him. I voted for Lobby Kasoulis. And somebody said, well, he has a good name for Nova Scotia. And I'm not disparaging the Rankins. And, and he's not without his capacities, Ian Rankin. He would have been a better premier, in my opinion, than that what's coming in next week, a week from today. But that said, week from yesterday, actually, I guess. Yesterday's the 24th. But anyway, we got to, if we don't accept people that are Greeks or Syrians or Hindus or Baha or born again or black or brown, we will never, never amount to anything in our province, Nova Scotia. That's been the strength and beauty of the United States of America. The out of, it's the Latin expression, out of many, one, a melting pot. Out of many, one. That is what's made the strength and beauty of the powerless USA economy. Out of many, one, and I'm told that much of Mother Teresa's funding came from the United States of America, which is, I would say unquestionably, on a per capita basis, the most generous people in the world. So we say a prayer to Mother Teresa tonight. We don't have to say prayers to Mother Teresa. We know that ladies in heaven. Uh, but say a prayer to Mother Teresa tonight as you say your Our Father, Hail Mary, whatever prayer you say. And with that, I got to go tomorrow morning. Thursday, the 26th of August, will be the saintly Mother Teresa. Would have been her 111th birthday. So if she died 24 years ago on the, 20, on the 5th of September, 24 from this, she was 87 when she went to heaven. She had some heart issues, but she she was so kind and good. When you're helping other people, it makes you feel good. If only people recognize when you give and help. I've often brought stuff to people's doors. And somebody, I'm going to just digress here a bit. Not me, it's just a little, few little things. And I said, well, how will they know who gave it? Well, I said, will it taste any better when so-and-so gets home if they knew who gave it to them or dropped it off? There's a, there's a businessman in Cape Breton, born industrial in Cape Breton, worked sort of a small town in Cape Breton. He gave a priest a car one time, a very good priest that helped a lot of men with alcohol addiction. The guy, it wasn't a, I don't even know if the guy's Catholic. I think he actually is Catholic, but he, he takes, he, he certainly, he respected this priest. He gave him a car and the pr older priest said, well, I don't travel that far. The parish gives me a car. It's an older car, but it suits me. And somebody who knew was a widow and needed a car, he gave the widow the car. And the businessman wasn't the least bit ticked off because some years later, he gave the priest another car. And so when you give something to somebody, they can do what one would. It's a, it's a free world. But we can all, in our own small way, try to emulate the Christian values of this Mother Teresa that was born in Albania that served the people of India. And with that, I got to go. It's John Petty. But I want you to shift. I'm almost, I've gone on almost 15 minutes. I'm a 13 and a half, 14 minute mark. Important subject. Please share this video far and wide and promote a discussion. The saintly Mother Teresa, who tomorrow morning would have been 111 years old and died, as I repeat, on the 5th of September of 1997. So next year, 2022, will be the 25th anniversary for her. And we, we can all learn. We can't do as much as Mother Teresa, but every bit counts. Every bit counts. Thank you very much. All the best. God bless. And good night.